Welcome to Today I Work On, and this is gonna be a quick video on how it's the easiest way to install blocking in a wall for a towel bar. First step, find your sub where you wanna put your towel bar. And what do we have right here? I already marked the sub, I will show you right now. This is a Kohler towel bar, and I marked, if you can see right here and right here, where the piece, there's like a piece that goes on the wall that attaches the towel bar to the wall. They don't want it flimsy, they want it really tough. So, the second step, I take the towel bar and then I mark where I need the blocking on this side. I have a two by four here, so if you can, try to find a two by four and then work off of that. If not, do my blocking method on both sides. Next step is we're gonna make a little tiny sliver of a piece and we're gonna open up this wall, but it's gonna be very minimal. Watch how I do it. The first step is I'm gonna cut this piece. This is a one by four. I'm gonna cut it three and a half inches. So let me cut it right now. That is done. That's an important step. Let's get to the next step. We have our level line here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the width of the one by four. I'm gonna come across, go up, go down. That's my width. Watch what I do next. I want this super tidy and clean, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the width of my vibrating saw and I'm just gonna go like this. Next up, I'm gonna cut a little bit. I'm basically gonna cut the width of the vibrating saw. Do not lose this piece. You wanna save this piece. Next up, we're gonna get an inch and five eighths screw. I'm gonna move it to one side, probably right about there. And now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stick it in the hole like so. And then look what we have. We have blocking. Pull the screw. Let's get to the next step. Next up, I'm gonna add a inch and a quarter screw like so. So I'm, I'm gonna move the screw because I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, like so, so it's nice and even. So I have my tile snips here. This makes it way easier because I can pull like so and then add another screw. and then add two more screws. Next step, we're gonna add back this piece of half inch drywall. So you gotta make sure it's clean, blow it all out, and then and we'll add just, just two, two uh, drywall screws. Next up, we'll push that in a little bit. We're gonna hit it with some dry compound. We'll get some mesh tape. It should be wide enough to cover. That's the next step. Now let's get some dry compound. Little tip on dry compound. I'm gonna push as much as possible. I'm gonna let that set up. I'm gonna put two more coats on it and it should be good. First coat is dry. I give it a little bit of a clean. Let's add one more coat on here. You can see I'm using a six inch knife and I'm pushing. We'll let this dry and then uh, we'll put one more coat on. I'm putting on my third coat. It looks really good, very nice. So I'm only using a six inch knife. When you push, I want you to push pretty hard with a six inch knife. Remember, you want it flat, super flat. So that's, that's gonna be it. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sand it super lightly. So I'm gonna sand around the edges.
But you want to make sure you blend in the joint compound because the joint compound is, if you can see right here, it's filling in all of the paint texture. So you try to like make it as gradual as possible so you don't really see the patch, but it's really hard if you took a light, different lights, etc. That's how patches work, unfortunately, unless you skin coat the whole wall, but we're not doing that. So I finished around the edges. Now I'm just gonna go across lightly. And that's it. That's how you patch in a piece of blocking for a towel bar. I think it's the quickest, easiest, less painful way of putting in some blocking. You don't need a whole two by four to put up a towel holder. If it was a bread bar where a human being is actually using it, yes, I would put it, I would open up the whole wall. But for something like this, this is like a perfect way to put the blocking in. So I hope this helped you if you want to install more blocking. So remember to recap, find a stud two by four, two by six on one side of the towel bar and then put in the blocking so you don't have to put in two pieces of blocking. Now, if you don't like a custom spot, then yeah, you gotta do this twice. But that's a wrap on this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it. And if you like these home improvement videos, please subscribe. Appreciate all the watch hours and all the uh, love. So I'll catch you next time. Take care.